I got a BOGO offer coming in this episode. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Google Cloud Shell to basically get a Unix box with absolutely no infrastructure and no setup time. And I'm gonna be showing you an OSINT tool called the Harvester. It's a staple if you're a pen tester, especially in the web application kind of bug bounty space. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber. So this week, I am showing you two different things and I'm gonna be using them kind of in parallel with each other. So I recently watched a video of Network Chuck, by the way, amazing, amazing YouTube channel. I seriously suggest you check it out if you haven't heard it before. But he was using this Google Cloud Shell in order to do um, this Instagram tool uh, for OSINT research. I was like, what? I need some of that. So I um, checked it out. We're gonna use Google Cloud Shell today, so I'm gonna show you what that is and how easy it is to get a Unix box with zero infrastructure. And I'm gonna be showing you this tool called the Harvester. Now, if you're familiar with the Cyber Kill Chain, or if you're not, welcome aboard. The Cyber Kill Chain is basically how attacks happen, but the very first phase, really in anything, whether it's bug bounty, web application, mobile, network, whatever, is reconnaissance. It's critical in the in the uh, process to do recon and one of the best tools of the trade is open source intelligence there's so much knowledge out there so much information just waiting to be grabbed up and some of the uh, contributors to the community have put together sets of tools that people like us can use to uh, kind of automate a lot of the processing and, and really get to the meat of doing um, you know, analysis and data gathering quite quickly. If you want, just jump to the time marks below if you wanna get right to a specific section. I love doing that. And if you're new here, give me a second. My name's Jerry Ozier. This is Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career faster. And on this, uh, channel, we do things like defensive security and offensive security, much like the OSINT tool that I'm going to be showing you today. So if that's interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, bells for notification, because every Monday at noon, I drop a video and I want you to know about it, okay? If you got any information around the Google Cloud Shell, around OSINT tools, put them in the comments below. I love engaging with the community. So let's hop behind the keyboard. All right, so this is the Harvester. It's a GitHub uh, uh, hosted tool, and you can see right here, very simple to use and powerful and effective. I couldn't agree more. It's got passive kind of data collection across all these different um, data resources and data sets. Uh, Google's in here, obviously. I will tell you, in order to fully utilize the power of the Harvester, um, you will want to get some API keys. What the Harvester is gonna allow us to do is gather email addresses, subdomains, IP addresses, URLs. It's very, very powerful. I'm gonna do a demonstration for you. Uh, but basically, if you're doing recon uh, for your own company, uh, you could put that in here and do it. It's, 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 it's kind of passive OSINT, so it's not like you're breaking any laws or doing anything like that. And uh, if you're a pen tester or bug bounty and you're looking at kind of your clients, you can certainly use the Harvester. It's an excellent place to start. Okay, so let's go into Google Cloud Shell. Now this is the bonus material, right? Cloud.google.com. If you just type in Google Cloud Shell, I'll put a link in the description, but just Google Cloud Shell, you get brought here. Check this out, go to console. You're gonna go ahead and click through the agreement. Now, I want you to know that this is absolutely free and I didn't see any type of cost associated with this in any of the research I did. Now, I will point out that it is volatile, meaning that when you shut down the browser and close it, you lose everything. So this isn't a long-term fix or solution. On the channel, we do a lot of AWS builds and putting Kali boxes up in there. That's, that's fine and a little bit more persistent, but if you're just trying to try, try out some tools or do some quick little recon, this is a great solution. All right, so it's provisioning our cloud shell. You're gonna see this, it's just a straight up Unix box. Now check this out, uh, uname-a, there we go. It's just uh, some simple, simple Linux box, okay? Now, let's get the harvester in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clone down the harvester from the GitHub repo. It's really so easy. Next, we're gonna jump into the harvester directory. There we are. Now we need to um, install the requirements. So what you wanna do is actually pip3 install deck r requirements.txt. So doing the pip3 install uh, requirements is basically gonna pull down all of those um, 
you know, dependency files and executables and stuff like that, that the harvester is gonna need in order to run. So it looks like we got a few errors, but that's gonna be okay. All right, so now we're in, we're completed installing our dependencies. So I've actually got like a little cheat sheet here. This is a good one. I came up with this, or I, I found this, right? So let's do the harvester, attack B all. So we're gonna do all of them, oops, excuse me. We're gonna do all for our data source, right? Then we're gonna pick our domain to search. Uh, you should have permission to do this um, technically, but it is open source uh, Intel, so you don't really need permission, so you can do uh, what you want likely without much um, uh, issue, but just, you know, really only go looking at places that you should be or you have a legitimate reason to, okay? So I'm gonna do coastalinfosec.com, which is a website uh, or a URL domain that I own, and what else? To 200, okay? There goes the harvester, it's off and running. You can see it's going across all these different sites. It's awesome. Just think of the amount of time it would save you if you if you had to do this at every individual site for each IP that you found. I mean, it's insane the amount of time that the harvester will save you, which is why it's such a popular tool. All right, so the harvester's done running. Let's look at what it harvested, right? So it ran across all these things. This is where those missing API keys are, so don't worry about that. But you can see it didn't find anything at URL scan, but then you see it found my LinkedIn profile, okay. That's good, That's, that is uh, accurate. Then here's all these IP addresses. You could definitely add this to your um, site targets, right? So like this is in scope. So sometimes when you're doing like a bug bounty, they'll give you like one domain that you can work from. But when you run the domain through a tool like the Harvester, you get all these additional IPs. Now, those become areas of interest to begin to explore, right? This is how, um, you know, leftover legacy systems are discovered or dev systems that are actually pointing into the internet, uh, misconfigurations, stuff like that. Here's a bunch of emails for infosec. Uh, dot com, uh, coastal infosec, so we could maybe email those if, if you wanted to add a social engineering element. Maybe you look for these email addresses uh, themselves across the internet using other tools for OSINT. Maybe you see j.do at coastalinfosec.com writing on message forms about something specific, like, oh, we're having a tough time uh, configuring our Oracle database. Well, there you go, they're an Oracle shop. Um, and then you've got some IP uh, some more IP addresses and domains here. So. Just a quick, quick video to show you A, the power of Cloud Shell, and then B, really the, the utility of this Harvester app, which is a go-to for many pen testers, especially on the bug bounty side. Hopefully you found this really interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I loved actually finding this tool. Thanks to Network Chuck for highlighting it in his most recent video. Um, again, be good, and the next time, stay secure.